Okay. More problems regarding uh, variable separable differential equation. So, again, ang ating form ng uh, differential equation, ax, y dx plus bx, y dy is equal to 0. So, again, the only way para ma 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 ma-solve ang differential equation is through integration. So, para ma-integrate natin, so dapat, kung with respect to x, ang ini-integrate natin, dapat mawala yung function of y. So, this must be converted as m of x dx plus n of y dy is equal to 0 para ma-ready natin siya sa integration. So, ano gagawin natin way para ma-convert natin yung first term and second term? So, i-divide natin yung first term sa function na hindi kailangan. So, in this case, since we are uh, integrating with respect to x, so, tatanggalin natin yung function of y. So, I have to divide it all by that function of y. Sa second term naman, so, may function of x ka dito, integrating with respect to y, so, dapat matanggal kung ano yung function of x. So, dividing it all by that function of x. So, that, ang ating magiging uh, differential equation, resulting differential equation, ay ready para sa ating integration. So, let's have uh, an example. So, we have here dx is equal to t times the quantity 1 plus t squared times second squared x dt. To separate the variable, so since ma-integrate lang natin ito kung wala yung second of x kasi this is a function of t uh, with respect to t so dapat lahat ng terms dito must be a function of t so kailangan natin siyang i-divide all by secant squared of x so pag dinivide natin sa all by secant squared of x so yung left side mo magiging dx over secant square x is equal to t times the quantity 1 plus t squared dt. So, pwede na tayong mag-integrate. Kasi nga, ito, function of t, ito, function of x. But, 1 over secant, using uh, reciprocal, this gives you cosine squared of x, dx, is equal to, pwede natin i-distribute, t plus t cube dt. Then, integrate na natin siya. So, anong integral ng cosine squared x dx? So, this is powers of sine and cosine case 2. So, re-replace natin si cosine squared with 1 half plus cosine twice the angle cosine 2x dx is equal to integral of t dt plus integral of t cube dt. So, this gives you 1 half integral of dx plus 1 half integral of cosine 2x dx by distributing this one half in each term equals integral of t dt plus integral of t cube dt. So, integrating this gives you one half of x plus so for us to integrate this cosine 2x dx so I need to provide 2 here and then compensate with one half outside kasi ang integral ng cosine u du must be equal to uh, 1 fourth sine 2x is equal to 1 half t square using power formula plus 1 over 4 t to the fourth plus c. So multiplying this all by its LCD, ang LCD natin ay 4, so multiplying it all by 4 gives... So, pag multiply natin lahat by 4. 4? 4. So, mangyayari magiging 2x. So, 4 times 1 half of x is equal to 2x. 4 times 1 fourth of sine x is sine 2x. Again, 4 times 1 fourth sine 2x is sine 2x is equal to 4 times 1 half is 2t squared. Then 4 times 1 fourth, t to the fourth is t to the fourth plus c. Or, rearranging by transposing that 2t squared and t to the fourth on the left side of the equation gives 2x plus sine 2x minus 2t squared minus t to the fourth is equal to c. 
So, this must be our general solution. Let's have another example. So, we have here uh, y ln of x ln y dx plus dy is equal to 0. So, this second term alone is integrable. But unfortunately, on this side of the equation, uh, y ln x ln y dx so, we are to integrate this with respect to x. So, yung lahat ng function of y must be eliminated on that particular term. So, what we will do is i-divide natin siya by y ln of y. Kasi yung function of y ang hindi kailangan sa uh, first term ng ating left side of the equation. So, pag ginawa natin yun, this y cancels out, this ln y cancels out, gives ln of x dx plus dy over y ln y is of course equal to 0. So now ready na siya for integration kasi this is in a function of x, this is function of y dy is equal to 0. So integrate na natin siya. So dun sa first term, gagamit tayo ng integration by parts. So using integration by parts, ang sabi sa integration by parts, integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. So, in our case, ang u natin dito is ln of x. So, if u is ln of x, my derivative u is dx over x. My dv is dx. So, integrating both sides, v is equal to x. So, sabi ni formula, integral of u dv is uv minus integral of v du. That's integral of u. Ay, sorry. Integral of ln of x dx is u multiplied by v, which is x, minus integral of v, which is x, multiplied by the derivative of u, which is dx over x. Plus, later na yung pangalawa. So, focus muna tayo sa first term. So, this gives you x ln of x minus integral of dx plus equals x ln of x minus x plus. Okay, so let's proceed na sa second term. So, ang second term natin, alam natin na ang derivative ng ln y ay dy over y. So, I can set b u b equal to ln of y. Then, whose derivative du is simply dy over y. So, that will be in the form of, this is exactly my du over u. So, gagamitan lang natin siya ng natural logarithm. So, that is simply ln u equals integral of 0 is c. So, but u there is ln of y. So, that gives you ln of ln of y is equal to c. So, therefore, that will be our final answer. Third example. So we have here xy plus x dx is equal to x squared y squared plus x squared plus y squared plus 1 dy. So notice na x here is common so I can separate x from y by factoring. So that gives you x times the quantity y plus 1 dx equals quantity. So this x squared and x squared is common to uh, these first two terms. That is x squared can be factored out. So, this gives you x squared times the quantity y squared plus 1 plus y squared plus 1. So, using factoring by grouping, y squared plus 1 and y squared plus 1 I common. So, we can factor that out. So, this is x y plus 1 dx is equal to the quantity y squared plus 1 as the common factor multiplied by x squared plus 1 dy. So, separating the variables, so this can't be integrated because of that y plus 1. Hindi rin pwede itong i-integrate dahil meron kang x squared plus 1 sa taas. So, you have to divide this all by, ang hindi kailangan dito ay y plus 1. So, divide both by y plus 1. Ang hindi kailangan dito ay x squared plus 1. So, divide it both by x squared plus 1. So, doing so gives x dx over x squared plus 1 
because that y plus 1 cancels out with y plus 1 giving you x over x squared plus 1 dx equals that x squared plus 1 cancels out with that x squared plus 1 giving you y squared plus 1 over y plus 1 dy. So now this is function of y with respect to y, function of x with respect to x. It is now ready for integration. So yung ang ating uh, first term muna ulit. So let u be equal to x squared plus 1. So du is equal to 2x dx. So, but since ang numerator natin ay x dx lang, I need to provide 2 and then compensate with 1 half. So, that gives you 1 half integral of du over u. So, this is now equal to 1 half ln of x squared plus 1. So, punta tayo sa right side of the equation. So, ang sabi natin kapag ka mag integrate tayo, Kapag ka ang degree ng numerator is equal or greater than sa degree ng denominator, we have to divide first. So, di-divide muna natin siya, yung y squared plus 1 divided by y plus 1. So, let us try to divide. y squared divided by y is y. y times y is y squared. Then, y times 1 is plus y. Subtracting the 2 gives negative y plus 1. So, syempre yung plus 1 nandun. So, yung 0 minus y is negative y. So, negative y divided by y is negative 1. Then, that gives you negative y minus 1. Subtracting the 2 gives positive 2. So, change the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to that of addition. So, that gives you 1 plus 1. So, this is now equal to y minus 1 plus 2 over y plus 1. So that is when you are dividing a numerator by a certain denominator that is equal to a quotient plus remainder over the divisor. So if this y squared plus 1 over y plus 1 that is equal to the quotient y minus 1, your quotient here is y minus 1 plus your remainder 2 over the divisor y plus 1. So integrating that gives integral of y dy, so I forgot the dy here, minus integral of dy plus 2 integral of dy over y plus 1. So that gives you 1 half ln of x squared plus 1 equals 1 half y squared minus y. Using power formula, so that's 1 half y squared. Integral of dy is simply y plus 2 ln of y plus 1. Of course, we have to add c. So, to eliminate those denominators, pwede tayong magmultiply ng 2 sa lahat. Gives what? That's ln of x squared plus 1. Pag minultiply ng 2 ang 1 half, gives ln x squared plus 1 equals nagmultiply ng 2 sa 1 half y squared is y squared Nagmultiply ng 2 kay negative y is negative 2y. Nagmultiply ng 2, it becomes 4. Ln of y plus 1 plus c. So that must be our answer.